Udav Thackeray meets PM Modi for first time after becoming CM Udav Thackeray received PM Narendra Modi at Pune Airport on Friday. In what was their first meeting since the Shiv Sena chief became the CM of Maharashtra, PM Modi came to the city to attend a conference of Director Generals and Inspector Generals of Police. Ex-CM Devendra Fadnavis and Home Minister Amit Shah were also present to receive PM Modi. Hypocrisy Fadnavis's wife on report of Sainar allowing tree felling BJP leader Devendra Fadnavis's wife Amruta on Sunday attacked the Shiv Sainar for reportedly allowing the cutting of 1,000 trees for a memorial dedicated to party founder Bal Thackeray in Aurangabad. Amruta tweeted, Hypocrisy is a disease. Get well soon at Shiv Sainar. However, Aurangabad man Nankumar Gadele said that his administration will not allow trees to be cut for the memorial. Rahul, mentally disturbed, Manoj Tiwari on rape capital, remarked Delhi BJP chief Manoj Tiwari on Saturday called Congress. Leader Rahul Gandhi, mentally disturbed, after he said India is known as the rape capital of the world. Rahul can never see or make India a proud country. He gives statements that make him look mentally disturbed. He used wrong words for PM and had to apologize in court, said Tawari. Class 12 girl translates Rahul Gandhi's speech in Kerala. Video viral a video of a class 12 girl translating Rahul Gandhi's speech at a government school in Kerala's Malapuram went viral. Safa Febin volunteered to translate the Wayanad MP speech into Malayalam when he sought help from the audience. Support from teachers and friends made me do it with confidence. I think Rahul softened his vocabulary to help me, Safa said. But Modi G is mute. Congress on Rape Incidents in India The Congress Party on Sunday launched an attack on PM Narendra. Modi led government over rape incidents in various parts of the country. Congress leader Randeep Singh Surjawala alleged that the rule of law has broken down but Prime Minister is mute. He also tagged a video of PM Modi attacking the then Congress-led UPA government over rape incidents in Delhi. 